Most people drive 30 to 45 minutes to work an eight to 10 hour shift at a regular right. day job. Right. Comedians drive eight to 10 hours to work a 30 to 45 minute shift. It's oh exactly my the God. Opposite. I love that. I never thought about that. I yeah. love that. Uh, so finally, Dovi, I wanted to ask you what I ask all my guests. So what does your state of grace, which means your ideal state of being, that's what I call the state of grace. Mm -hmm. What does it look like today? And how has your journey shaped the man and comedian that you are now? Excellent question. Again, thank, thank you. you for having me on. Thank Mystery Man sure. for being a fantastic producer. Usually I am some, you know, I got some bug light somewhere and I'm by a screen door next to a bait shop doing a podcast <laughs> with a stuttering monk. <laughs> I mean that in a friendly, if you're a stutterer or a monk, I have nothing against anybody. Yeah. But the, my, my state of grace is to the point where kindness is all that matters in my life. I know that Ooh. sounds corny. I know that no, sounds, not at all. I've come to that point. I've got a Facebook group called the Maxwell Method of Stand-Up Comedy. Yes. And I give away more that I probably should charge for it. And I live like a bug and I don't, but I'm thinking, you know what? Nobody helped me when I started. I just want to be kind and help people. And say, like, well, I don't have any money to pay you. It's like, look, I, just, it's, it's call it karma, energy, whatever you want to call it. I've got 6,000 members from all over the world. And the reason I put my name on it, not for ego purposes, Colonel Sanders put his name and his face on the bucket of chicken. He didn't invent fried chicken, but it came up with his own formula and his recipe. And Absolutely. I think, okay, the best comedy comedian to learn from is the, it's like the best carpenter. He's got the least amount of fingers. Okay. I just saw that one off. Okay. Well, I did this mistake. Don't do that. <laughs> yes. Don't do this, do that. So to be a mentor is my legacy. If I never get famous, try bar special, I don't really care. I'm a white aging, you know, Midwesterner, a dime a dozen, the bugs on a bumper. And you know what? I'm all about diversity and inclusion. I just think everybody should get a chance. I Absolutely. had a chance to live it. The best baseball managers were never the biggest stars. They're always a second or third stringer that played the game, but had a passion for teaching. And I have yeah. a passion for teaching and, and mentoring. And I really cheer for people that, you know, make it. And I honestly can say in all the life that I've had, I don't have the maniacal ego to need to be me, me, me. If Grace Frog yeah. to be famous, I knew her. She came to my conference. Boy, I helped her with a couple of jokes. I'm just as happy for you. I just got that bad habit called eating. I haven't been able to break that yet. I'm trying to do that. <laughs> I just need enough to live. <laughs> so how is my journey? That's it. I love it. And and we agree on that. I, I think um, my state of grace is joy, peace. And I think by loving and helping others, you get way more than just being selfish and seeking ego boosts. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, yeah. that's what I, where I am. And I feel like it's, um, oh, I love that comment. I know Mr. Man, I'm not supposed to <laughs> tell you, but I love Jose's comment. Um, Doby, you got a beautiful soul. I love that. Thanks, Jose. And, and so if you, it takes one to know one, brother. And then damn, I want chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't licking no fingers. Okay, go ahead. 